Howdy folks, my name is Winters and welcome back to this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. We're moving on to the next mission in the New Frontier story arc, which is titled Beyond the Nexus. So let's get our mission brief. Starfleet recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship they thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. They sent a cruiser out to investigate, but it hasn't checked in for some time. Starfleet would like our assistance in the matter. The cruiser's last position was in the Rotenef system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Right, uh, so we have to go to the Ro Rotanov system and search for the USS Madison. Um, this mission uh, has... Uh, an interesting item which is basically this trilithium enhanced omnidirectional phaser beam array. Um, these omnidirectional weapons are few and far between uh, in Star Trek Online at the moment. Uh, there's a disruptor one, there's a phaser one, there's an antiproton one, uh, I'm pretty sure yeah there's a tetrion one, I don't think there's a plasma one yet. Um, and there is a polar on one as well. So I think it's uh, just plasma that's missing uh, at the moment. Um, so yeah, if you're using the phaser builds, this might be something that you might want to use, possibly. Um, yeah, uh, d depending on your builds, your play style, um, you may or may not want it. Uh, but uh, just in case, this is the mission where you can get an omnidirectional phaser beam array. Anyway, we Serve will the accept that, and as always, I have flown to the mission start point, so we'll jump in and get stuck into the mission. Good to see you. Looks like the two missing ships are that... So, as you could see there, uh, we were getting briefed by... Uh, Captain Jordi LaForge, uh, voiced by LeVar Burton from The Next Generation, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, very cool to get him into the game uh, to reprise his role. So we're beaming over to the USS Madison now, and uh, gonna see what's going on with this ship. Um, Looks like someone for this mission they actually recreated um, the uh, TNG bridge, or, or they created the TNG bridge pack. Uh, as you can see, this is the transporter room uh, from the Next Generation. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, you can explore all the little nooks and crannies, and uh, you will see here uh, in the not too distant future. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next. One. Uh, loads of different places, like uh, for example, right, the holodeck. Let's get to work. Someone's. Lo um, here we are Activating loading. Activating program Barclay 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. Please help us. The Borg are everywhere. Program's locked. We'll have to survive the battle to leave. Last wave. Unless they change the program. And they beamed in over here. Okay. Oh, thank you. 
that. So uh, this is the mining mini game. Um, clearly, they just wanted to put something in here. This is what they decided to use. And uh, as you just seen there, okay. we just had to get a score of a hundred. But kind of cool the way you Someone's transition from the holodeck to you know like a, a mission map, isn't that? Uh, I think I think that's very very cool. Um, right. Okay. So now we're going to move uh, on to the next area, which is ten forward. And uh, you will see. Look. I mean. It's 10 forward. It is actually 10 forward. It's freaking awesome. Thank you for coming. We were and picking the place up has seen better signals, days. Multiple contacts. We've got incoming. Uh, it is a little bit trashed, but it's still 10 forward. Enemy contacts inbound. Pick up the loot. Looks like um, we just have to talk to these guys. I have a feeling. Take the assault. And right now we can move on. And um, we're heading down to the turbo lift. And um, we're heading to engineering now. And you will see. Look, this is engineering. They're so much fun! Holy Hannah, that's a lot of quantum mortars. Watch it! They're beaming in reinforcements. Look at that, the MSD display, Master System display, is actually there. The warp core, absolutely everything. Heads up! More hostiles income! Okay. I think that is it. But look at the detail here. Like, isn't it absolutely brilliant? You've got it. And, like, all the workstations. And once again, we just have to get a score of 100 here. That's all we need, and it will complete. There we are. Nice work. Uh, but look, even uh, round here, uh, we never seen back here. Apparently, this was, if I remember correctly, Jordy's office was meant to be back here. But they, you know, they put in a little bit of it anyway. But uh, it was an area that they could walk around. Uh, and look, the warp core. And you have level two up there. Unfortunately, you can't get up to level two. But you know, that's that's still okay. But just the level of detail. I did it. It is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Uh, and I actually have this bridge pack uh, unlocked uh, or purchased as well. Alright, now we're going to the bridge. So we're going to see the bridge now. Um, this ship and all the pilots belong to Cosmer. Starfleet disagrees with you on that. No words mean nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. Okay, uh, first thing, um, let's get we some mines out, let's get some mortars out. Now, this guy, as far as I know, this is meant to be the guy that killed Tasha Yar. You might remember the, um, at near the end of Season 1 of TNG, uh, the big oily, oil slick pile of goo. That's who this guy is meant to be, as far as I know. Um, but I don't get, like, why, why is he here? Uh, he doesn't look the same. What does he have to do with the next? I don't get it. Um, 
But anyway, look, the level of detail here. All I'm the workstations. The the oh crap! I didn't mean to leave. Ah, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah, okay. So there's an accolade uh, for going into the ready room, and there's an accolade for going into the observation room. I wanted to show that I was a little bit overzealous there and got a little bit carried away, so apologies for that. But there's accolades for going in to those two locations. When you go in there, um, you will get those show hidden that. accolades. The challenger stands ready to assist you. system. Sweet. Nice, quick, handy mission. Uh, some nice throwbacks, you know, uh, to TNG. Uh, get to see, you know, some very familiar sights. Okay, let's report in and get our reward. Uh, so, what will we go for? Um, I think we'll go for the... It doesn't really matter, actually. Let's see. What has an EC value? That is 44,000. No. 37,000. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, we have a winner. We're going for the reinforced armaments, which is part of the set. Uh, plus 53.3 percent to power transfer rate plus 20 starship hull restoration plus 20 starship hull capacity uh, that's not a bad console actually um, serve the Empire well right uh, I just want to have a look see will this if, if it doesn't show us the the set bonuses I don't really care uh, there we are so two piece the Kintari and Lucari governments have begun working the two-piece set bonus is 5% firing cycle haste for energy weapons, uh, plus 15 flight speed. Uh, so really the most desirable thing is the firing cycle haste, uh, which basically means your, your weapons fire faster. Uh, and then we have plus 20 all damage resistance rating, uh, plus 20 starship hull capacity for the three-piece set, so that's very tanky, you know, for a rest increasing your survivability uh, so yeah in interesting item anyway we're going to leave it there for now thanks a million for watching folks I hope you all enjoyed the episode uh, if you did please like comment subscribe uh, do all that good stuff um, uh, the more interactions uh, we can get on videos and on the channel uh, it helps so much um, with uh, YouTube searches and you know pick getting picked up with uh, or within the you know YouTube algorithms and what have you, and uh, you know helps the channel grow, helps get the channel noticed, helps get the videos noticed as well from other uh, for other Star Trek Online players as well who might be looking for um, Star Trek Online content. Anyway, uh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, my name is Winters, and I'll see you next time. So until then, adios. <laughs>